Good morning, everyone. So today is October 24th, and it is going to be a full moon today, full moon in Taurus. Um, it, it's supposed to reach its peak at 1247 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I know that some people have said, I think I've seen 1245, but around the same same time frame. My app says 1247 uh, p.m. And so I'm going to go with that. Um, I just wanted to do a quick tarot uh, spread for everyone this morning to kind of like kick things off for you. I hope that you guys are all having a great start to your day. Um, and that, I mean, share in the comments, how have you guys been feeling with this Taurus energy? Because honestly, I have been loving it. Like I feel great. I've been having like more determination and, um, just energy and things like that to get things done. Um, whereas like a couple weeks ago, I was just like very, very tired and sleepy and like didn't really want to do too much. Um, but I've had like a boost of energy over the last, um, few days leading up to this full moon in Taurus. Um, not just physically, but, um, spiritually as well, for sure. Um, I don't know if you all have came across this necklace. I don't, I think I was talking when it hadn't started recording yet. Um, I actually came across this necklace in the last month, and I didn't even realize that October was a full moon in Taurus. So um, a lot of synchronicities with that. I was very drawn to to that pendant, and I actually don't really wear silver at all, but I've been feeling it lately. Um, but anyway, yes, so let's get into it. Um, I'm recording on my phone, so I have to hold my phone. So I did the shuffling and the layout uh, before I started recording, obviously. So let's see what we have. Um, I did, there's tarot here, um, and I am using my Druid Craft Tarot. Um, and then this is my Spirit Messages Oracle deck. And then this is the uh, Sacred Self-Care Rituals Oracle deck that I just got like last weekend. So let's see what we have. Prince of Cups, the star, and then Outlook is Three of Pentacles. So right away, I already feel like this is very um, suitable for this new, um, not new moon, full moon. Um, as you can see, uh, Prince of Cups, he's doing an offering. Um, I could zoom in a little bit. I don't want to put my flash on because it'll probably be too bright. But he's this is an offering, um, opportunities, new beginnings. He looks like he's going somewhere. Salud, like he's preparing for a celebration almost or preparing for a victory before it's even won. Um, I think that's very significant being that we all need to go into this next month and this next cycle of the full moon energy, knowing what's for us and what's ours and moving uh, with that energy, keep that same energy, <laughs> you know, like we know what's ours and what we can accomplish know that be confident in it um tauruses are confident they are they're determined um you know there's like a lot of green in the grass and in the background and um i feel like that also plays to um abundance and being grounded being rooted um and then we've got the star which also has water um if you watched my other uh, reading, you know that I do associate water with abundance. Um, obviously, it is, um, you know, very significant of emotions and relationship and stuff, at, re relationships as well. Um, but I, I really associate water with abundance and fertility. We have the star here. Um, I feel like that has a lot to do with 
the what I said with the Prince of Cups, um, knowing what's destined to be ours, um, and having finding that balance with in our relationships, with our emotions, as well as um, acting on them. Um, we have the Three of Pentacles, which is, um, you know, he's working hard here. He's creating. Um, and there's people watching him here. Um, there is a cat down by his side, staying close. So maybe you need to really tune into your intuition and make sure that you are working and making business choices based off of your intuition. Trust your intuition. Um, but uh, let's see. I didn't I didn't review the cards or anything, so give me a moment to kind of like look at them and and think. So three is also very significant of um, the Holy Trinity, so to speak. Um, things working together as a whole mind, body, spirit. Um, and that really, I feel like goes into the star as well. Finding that balance, um, in every aspect of your life, um, and going at it in a positive way, um, which kind of plays into the Prince of Cups, knowing what you're celebrating before you've even, you know, got the victory because, you know what you can do. And really, when you're trying to accomplish anything, you need to believe in yourself and be able to see it before anyone else can. If not, then that's a, that's an issue um, and something to be worked on. You know, um, all you have to do is change your, your programming, your perspective, um, counteract any negativity or self-doubt um, with positive reinforcement. Um if you are doubting that you can do something, um, a, a goal, ask yourself why. Why can't I? Um, and don't actually name off reasons or scenarios why you can't, of course. But um, I say that to say, like, really think about what can be done to actually do it. Plan accordingly. Um Okay, it did cut off. So Taurus energy is uh, significant of determination and being strong. And um, it Taurus also rules over our second house, which is possessions, money, abundance, and things like that of that nature. Um, and we, when we think about um, an October full moon, um, the hunter's moon, from a primal aspect, our our ancestors had to really prepare and um, hunt for food for the winter. It was a survival thing. Um, so, kind of when you're uh, like reflecting on your life and what can be done to better yourself, whether that's emotionally, um, you know, physically, from a work perspective, love, etc. Uh, really look at the work aspect, the action, the preparation, um, because I really feel like that plays a lot into um, October because we are um, going to be entering winter soon. Um, so although it's not a survival um, type of thing per se, um, it can be on different levels as far as preparation and making sure that you are being taken care of or doing what you need to, to better take care of yourself. Okay. So let's see what the spirit message card says. And it says animal kingdom animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. So perhaps there's um, animals in particular that you have seen in your dreams. 
um, animals that you've seen in your surroundings, like where you live, that it's not common. Um, uh, let's see. I mean, Taurus, the animal that represents Taurus, full moon in Taurus is a bull, um, which I kind of, I think already, did I go? No, I was just talking about Taurus in general. So, you know, bulls, uh, symbolize passion and, uh, strength, uh, perseverance, keep going. Um, they also, uh, symbolize a transformation as well, which is really great. Um, as well as, um, standing in your power, so to speak. You know, when you think of a bull, they're very bulky and strong and they have four legs. They can really, uh, you know, plant themselves where they stand for whatever, for whatever reason. So try to apply that, um, sort of aspect to your life as well. If you are having some obstacles, um, really stand in your power and, uh, if you believe whatever the choice uh, situation is, um, st stand strong in that. Believe in yourself and uh, keep pushing forward. Keep it pushing, you know. Um, at the end of the day, you have to believe in yourself more than anybody else does. Um, and you have to do the work. So um, I feel like that is a relevant message for this. Um, last card would be the, the sacred, um, what is it? Hold on. Sacred self-care rituals oracle deck. So let's see what they have. Make a vision board. So very simple. Let me zoom in a little bit. These cards are so pretty. Um, so make a vision board, you know, uh, stay goal oriented, um, keep your eye on the prize and keep going at it. I feel like that really ties in very well with the rest of the cards. Um, a vision board is going to constantly keep at the forefront your goals, what you're trying to accomplish and motivate you and inspire you to get the next action item off of your list or your plan, whatever it may be checked off to you know, it's one step closer towards what you're trying to accomplish. So if you don't have a vision board, um, definitely consider making one, um, whether that's tonight during, um, you know, like a full moon ritual or, you know, it doesn't have to be formal or anything, but set a mood, you know, um, and you can do that. Okay, I got cut off. I'm going to wrap this video up. But what I was saying was it could just be over the next couple of days or over the weekend. It doesn't have to be tonight on the night of the full moon. But, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, definitely a good idea. Um, and it doesn't have to just be goals and and um, accomplishments. It could just be things that make you feel good, that make you feel joy, um, that things that are beautiful to you. Um, a picture of your family and stuff like that. I feel like vision boards can be really um, more broad in nature than just goals. Um, so keep that in mind and really make it your own uh, and make it something that is very, very personal and special to you. So I hope that you guys enjoy.